Welcome back everyone to another video. So, the game director for Destruction All Stars in this video is just going to talk about the game because it's coming out as a PS Plus game for February. So, enjoy the video. Hi everyone, I'm Colin Berry, game director at Lucid Games. And today, we're here to give you a deep dive look at Destruction All Stars, the global sports entertainment event where stars and cars collide. This adrenaline fueled action game arrives on the PlayStation 5 console in February. That's next week. And active PlayStation Plus members will be able to download the game at no extra charge from February the 2nd through to April the 5th. Here we go. In Destruction All Stars, your goal is to get inside a vehicle and cause as much carnage as possible, but there's depth within the destruction. You'll select from 16 diverse All Stars, each with their own special abilities and a unique hero vehicle. Then you'll strap in and compete in arenas around the world. While Destruction All Stars were built with online multiplayer in mind, let's establish the basics first and then leap into some single player gameplay of Mayhem, one of four play modes available at launch. Okay, let's get behind the wheel. In Destruction All Stars, you'll have access to three common vehicle types. The first vehicle is all about speed and getting you from point A to point B as quickly as possible. This car drifts and takes corners like no other in the game. This smaller, more nimble car is the most responsive, agile vehicle in Destruction All-Stars. It's designed to help you have maximum control. Finally, we have the heavy vehicles. These are all about stability and they can endure far more damage than the others. Come on, hit them like you mean it. These common vehicles are disposable by design. We want you in and out of the vehicles, taking damage, wrecking others, and getting wrecked. In the bottom left of the hood, you'll see a hero vehicle icon and a hero icon. You'll charge up your hero ability and hero vehicle as you evade, wreck enemies, and collect pickups. Let's check out the hero ability and hero vehicle through Lupita and Shift, two of our over-the-top all-stars. Lupita is an offensive-focused driver. Her hero vehicle leaves a trail of fire to damage her opponents. Her hero ability enables her to do the same whilst on foot. Here's Shift. He boasts a more subtle defensive playstyle. Shift's hero vehicle can slip into stealth mode, enabling devastating ambushes with a souped up slam attack. On foot, Shift's hero ability allows him to become invisible and disappear from your opponent's minimap. What's more, when in hero mode, all characters can double jump and move faster, so you can zip around the arena in a fluid, flashy manner. And speaking of movement, our characters have incredible traversal skills that go far beyond running and jumping. They can wall run, vault, and vault boost, ricochet off walls, dodge, and far more. These athletic feats are every bit as crucial as strategic driving. Use your All-Stars abilities to score, explore, and battle for new vehicles as you careen across the arena. If you dodge an incoming rival vehicle and manage to jump onto its roof, you can attempt a takeover or a wreck over, react faster than the driver, and you can claim their ride or destroy it. Fantastic wreck over from Shift. This combination of acrobatic abilities and bone-rattling car combat makes Destruction All-Stars a truly unique experience. Whether on foot or behind the wheel, scoring opportunities are plentiful and you always have a move to make. In addition to Mayhem, there are three other modes that you can play online or via the single-player arcade mode. Let's check out Carnado, an 8v8 team-based mode that's a favorite of the team here at Lucid. Your goal in Carnado is to earn gears by smashing, wrecking, or stealing your opponent's vehicles. But Carnado has a catch. You can only bank those gears by driving your vehicle into the Carnado and wrecking your ride. The longer you stay out and about, the more points you can bank, but you risk losing them all. Next up is Stockpile. It's a team-based game that's all about collecting gears and controlling each of the three banks. Wreck your opponent, then jump out of your vehicle to collect their gears. Quickly deposit them into a bank to take control. 
evasion and quick thinking are key. One hit will scatter your gears across the arena. Naturally, your opponents will be up to the same shenanigans, creating a tug of war dynamic. Finally, we have Gridfall, where the last All-Star standing wins the match. Sections of the floor will fall away over time, making the match more and more dangerous as it progresses. In Gridfall, you can eliminate opponents by knocking them into the abyss, or by wrecking them. And while you have a limited number of lives, you can earn more as you play. So get ready to make some death-defying leaps to stay in the action. Ever the showboats, our All-Stars are always ready for a change of clothes. You unlock even more flamboyant costumes and cosmetics by using one of two types of in-game currency, All-Star Coins and Destruction Points. You earn All-Star Coins by playing online and earning XP. Destruction Points can be purchased at the PlayStation Store, and later this year, you'll also be able to earn them by competing in daily and weekly online challenges. Whether you're redeeming All-Star Coins or Destruction Points, the content you unlock is for personal expression only, and it will not gain you any competitive advantage. Now let's look at the Challenge Series. Each series can be redeemed with Destruction Points and focuses on one All-Star and their rival. They provide a little bit of backstory and character motivation, as well as plenty of heated action. In each challenge, you'll pick your skills against rivals in the gameplay modes mentioned earlier, as well as unique single-player challenges, such as Crash Course, Break Time, Skirmish, and my personal favorite, Transporter. Challenges culminate in a final showdown with your rival. It's time to show them who's truly on top. Beat me in the arena, if you can. Oh, you want me to put you back in your lane? Fine. Buckle up, kid. School's in session. And that was your first in-depth look at the outrageous world of Destruction All-Stars. Now you're ready to start dishing out some awesome wreckage for the highlight reel. Destruction All-Stars lands on the PlayStation 5 console on February the 2nd and will be included at no extra cost for active PlayStation Plus members. But launch day is just the beginning for Destruction All-Stars. New modes, new characters and refreshed playlists will arrive throughout the year. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the arena. Ten seconds now!